Oh, I think the big, big, big question is when's the GOP going to get their paws on the Biden Burisma bribery tapes? All right, these are phone calls with uh, allegedly with the former vice president and his son. Let's ask Florida Congresswoman Anna Polina Luna, member of the House Oversight Committee. Anna, you're very kind to come on. Before I get to the tapes, Anna, I know you're pushing a vote tonight to censure Adam uh, Schiff. Uh, if anybody deserves censure, he does. Let me just play some sound. This is what he said today. Please take a listen. But I take it as a badge of honor because uh, this says that I'm effective. Uh, they go after people they think are effective. Uh, I exposed the corruption of the former president. I led the first impeachment trial of the former president to the first bipartisan vote to remove a president in U.S. history. Uh, and I'm proud of that work. And I would do it again. So, Anna, he led, he, he led the hoax. He, he led the phony argument from day one. Uh, I am told by some friends of mine, senior staff, in the speaker's office that your motion to censure Smith uh, Schiff is going to pass tonight. Yes, it is. And in fact, that's exactly what we worked so hard with talking to our Republican colleagues with over the weekend. You know, I want to be really clear about something. This is about an abuse of power. This is about fraud. This is about waste of the American taxpayer dollars. Remember, it cost the American taxpayers $32 million because of these lies that he said that he had. Um, and ultimately, too, read a cooked up dossier into congressional records. So if there's anyone that deserves to be censured, it's him. But more importantly, it restores, I think, accountability and trust with the American people. I'll be honest, when I first came up here, you know, seeing some of these people get away with what they get away with and then zero accountability, being a member of House Oversight and Accountability, I thought that it was um, me doing right by my constituents and I think by the country in order to hold him accountable. And so we are very happy that this will be passing. But more importantly, we're happy that history will reflect exactly who he is and what he did to the American people. Um, Anna, you know, uh I'm reading about it, and t people are telling me. So, um, Jamie uh, Comer looked at some of these 1023s, FBI 1023s. Everything was redacted. The whole thing was a waste of time. That's what he said. You know, Hunter Biden got a sweet deal, but I I'm much more interested in his Hunter Biden's influence peddling. I'm interested in his money laundering, and I'm especially uh, interested in these uh, Burisma bribery tapes. Now, I will say alleged, apparently an oligarch on the board of Burisma is nowhere to be found. People are trying to find the guy. He's got the tapes. Uh, if you can add to this story, I wish you would, because to me, that is an impeachable offense if those tapes are there and correct. You are correct, and that's exactly why we've been pushing so hard with the FBI to get information, not only on the human source and the informant, but also, too, so that we can get access to those tapes. Like you had stated, and for those that are listening, there's 15 recorded conversations between Hunter Biden and this oligarch at Burisma, and then two with then Vice President Joe Biden in regards to this transaction. Remember, there was $10 million. It was five for Hunter Biden and five for the big guy, a.k.a. Joe Biden. And so exactly Exactly like you stated, we are pushing hard for that. But it is interesting, and I want the American people to know that what Chairman Comer is doing, not only is he taking heat from the left, but they are actually sending left-wing groups after him to try to throw him off the trail. They have been so nasty at trying to stonewall and interfere with this congressional investigation that you know the evidence is there. And exactly like was um, pointed out a few days ago online, you know, MSNBC sat down with Hunter, uh, with Joe Biden, and actually addressed some of what Hunter Biden had done. But again, you know, where you bring up impeachment, the left tries to talk about President Trump. We're not talking about President Trump. We're talking about Joe Biden. Biden, and if we have those tapes, you can guarantee he will be impeached. And, and a last one. I only got 30 seconds. We appreciate your time. Once again, once again, the FBI is being, shall we say, uncooperative. This is a part that I do not understand. I'll give you the last word. Well. Well, we reserve the right to use something called the Holman Rule, and that can remove any federal appointed position or federally funded position in general if they're choosing to not cooperate with us. And I think it's very possible that the director of the FBI might have his entire salary removed, therefore eliminating his position. All right, Congresswoman Anna Polina Luna, thank you, ma'am. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.